What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you my new Lumen OBS and how it can improve your FPS while recording and or streaming. Now, in this video, I'm comparing the two by recording. I don't really show much about streaming, but it will help. Now, in the background, you can see I have, I have sped up a benchmark of the two. The first one is of OBS, the second one's of Lumen OBS. And we're going to be comparing the benchmark. So as you can see, uh, Lumen OBS granted much better lows by a margin and really just a more stable FPS while recording. Now, this is granted through a uh, debloat and just more optimized OBS, pretty much for lower latency, better performance, and all that good stuff. To download this, all you need to do is go to my Discord server which you can find at the top of the description or discord.gg slash lumen. Now head on over to the free files section, which you can unlock this by inviting one of your friends to the server, and that'll grant you access to all the free files that I upload. You know, just right now we have the auto timer res, lumen dblood, or auto ISO tool, and the PC spec checker, but there will be a lot more to come. Anyway, head to the lumen OBS section. From there, you can download the installer. And I have the installer right here, so we can just run it like this. It's going to pop up. You can hit install. And then that's going to put a shortcut, like what I have here, to your desktop. And you can just run Lumen OBS from there. And there's going to be a lot of different themes that you can pick from. So we have Aurora, Blackout, you know, the default theme, Dust, Frost, Graphite. Lavender, Lumen, Meadow, Obsidian, Oceanic, Terminal, and Whiteout. So I'm going to just put it on a default for the sake of the video. But that's all the custom backgrounds that I made for OBS. And there's really a lot to pick from, so I hope you guys like those. But anyway... On the output settings, we're going to quickly go over some of these settings that, you know, I recommend. So for video encoder, you should always use NVIDIA H.264. Now for AMD, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, but anyway, you're just going to use your AMD driver. If you have a H.264 like this, or, you know, you just see AMD and whatever else, it might be a little bit different depending on what type of card you have, but... Just pick the AMD encoder. And then for streaming, the bitrate is going to kind of depend on your internet. You know, you can handle higher bitrate if you have a higher upload speed. I would just leave all this how it is. And then for recording, I would go ahead and put your recording format to MP4 if it's not already. And then make sure you put your encoder to h264 nvidia like i have it here and then down here you can pretty much copy my settings you could up the bitrate a little bit more if you want higher quality this will strain your cpu a little bit more when recording but this is just very basic settings that you can use you can play around with it a little bit to your liking but this is the settings that i tested with in the video earlier when you saw the benchmark now for video, you just want to make sure that your output is at 1920 by 1080 and 60 FPS. For clipping, you're just going to go to replay buffer and you're going to click enable. And then you're going to set this to however long you want. So I like to have my clips at 60 seconds, but this is all preference. And then hotkeys, you can set whatever key you want as your save replay button like that and then apply it. Now from here you can just start your replay buffer, add whatever sources you want, and you're good to go. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. I'll continue to release free stuff and upload consistent videos, so stay tuned for that, and I hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.